Cancers, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Yes, 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 readings are timeless. So when you find this message or this message finds you, that means that there should be in, something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Guys, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. In advance, I thank you for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so, so, so very much, and I thank you again. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. There is no gender. It is all energy, okay? Let me tell you, coming into your energy, I saw uh, devil energy, Capricorn. There is a Capricorn talking about you like a dog. I ain't gonna lie. My whole side of my face was, uh, it wasn't even an ear ringing. It was like literally hurting, okay? Just putting that out there. I pulled some oracles for you from uh, the Psychic Tarot. I thought I was going to pull Energy of the Seven Oracles, but let's just go with the flow here, right? Originally, you pulled the Sun, Light, card number 19, Joy, Peace, Whimsical Energy, Leo Energy, Major Arcana. We followed by the Lovers, Harmony, card number 6, Intuition, card number 2, and the Heart Chakra, number 4. Now, let me tell you that you are someone's joy, someone's inspiration, someone's soulmate, their partner, the love of their life, blah, 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 you know. Cancer, you the ish. You know it. You know it. Your intuition tells you. You know it. They know it. Um, problem is, I don't see any movement. I see a lot of emotion. I see uh, the knowing, but if it's intuitively known, you know, high priestess energy is, is silent. It's not spoken, okay? Bottom of the deck pulled spiritual strength, um, card number nine. Now, spiritual strength comes when divine is assisting you out of a hole, all right? Divine is lifting a boulder up because you're climbing up and out of a tough situation, which you guys have been dealing with for some time. Right under that <clears throat> fulfillment of wish wishes, excuse me, uh, also number nine. Okay? Uh, heart chakra would be air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, speaking to love, speaking into opening your heart, speaking to uh, being open to give and receive, you know? So I think you're ready and either your partner isn't or vice versa, okay? Uh, the connection is undeniable though, that's for sure. Nothing in question about that. However, uh, for many times in our life, we can have or feel a really strong connection, but do nothing about it. And we know many people that have been in the same situation where they felt a connection and did nothing about it or was waiting for something, somebody, you know, to make that first move. Let's see what the dreams of Gaia pull for you. Uh, Gemini here, Pisces, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, just to put some signs out. Center energy, please, for Cancer. Thank you. And there's a three of fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian. This energy speaks to movement forward. This energy speaks to um, exploring the unknown, you know, packing your bags and running, okay? What's crowning you is showing as a page of water, emotion over intellect. This is somebody really uh, going with the flow of their heart, really listening to how they feel, maybe pursuing an interest or apology or brand new emotional um, beginning. That what's undermining this energy, please, for cancer? What's undermining the energy? What's undermining this energy, please, for cancer? Death. 
Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. Somebody doesn't want to let go of the old ways so that they can begin the new. And I think that's what the oracles were talking about. There's a lot of emotion. There is a divine attachment. I really can't state that enough. Regardless to if this nut doesn't pan out for a, as a love reading for you, you have so much happening in your life right now that you know you're being led to a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, new cycle, okay? A cycle of happiness and joy and understanding um, of self as well as um, you and others. You know what I mean? You're pursuing your passions. Where is this coming from? Can I have one on the past energy? Seeking answers, advice, information, seven of fire here. Maybe you looked into, you did some homework, you did some research, you found the knowledge that you were looking for because you're using this knowledge and taking it forward. Where is this going? Future in. Wow. To prosperity and security with this king of earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and the queen of air at the bottom, cutting through all foolishness, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I love this. Like, seriously, I want to stop right here because this is phenomenal, phenomenal energy. I see growth. I see um, movement in, on your part, okay? And I see the willingness to try, the willingness to explore, the willingness to take that leap, you understand? Um, and, and the knowing that God has something out there for you, the, you're doing this with a, a whole heart, you know, n without doubt and fear and um, just a whole heart. Like, you know that there's just something out there for you and you're, you're pursuing it. You're, the something out there for you includes your happiness, whatever happiness is, is to you. You know, uh, that childlike dream you, you're pursuing or the pursuance of a child, you know. But whatever it is, it's what you want and it secures you. It brings you security. It brings you financial abundance. Um, the king of earth is also a loyal energy and it's a married energy. So if that's your pursuit, uh, to secure a relationship, then it looks like, again, the answer is yes. The universe right now is saying yes to you, cancer. Yes. However, however, that's all about you. Now, this energy with these oracles of this person that possibly, like I said, Leo, Gemini, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, these, uh, the, the, whoever this person is to you, and it doesn't have to be that sign, but that person that you know, and they know that you feel like you belong together. I would like to see, I would like to see movement, you know, not just feelings and emotions and intuitive energies. I would like to see movement. That's that's my only hang up on this. But you yourself personally are looking good, 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 good. Okay, we're going to do Nefertari. I was going to do author. But it looks like we're going into an older energy here. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to let go of their their ways, their lifestyle. They're comfortable. Period. They're comfortable. That's how this uh death energy feels. Extremely comfortable. Um I want to start with the meat and potatoes. Can I have one with, for the oracles on movement for Cancer's person? And we have an Eight of Cups, Eight of Chalices. See? Now, Cancer, this could be you walking away from this person, or this could be them coming towards you. Let's see what this uh, tarot tells us, okay? Three of Fire, Center Energy, Cancer. Please clarify. And we have a two of pentacles reverse. No longer juggling. 
no longer indecisive, no longer playing games, no longer back and forth. Your decision has been made. Tell me more, Cancer Energy. And we have a Knight of Swords, some type of communication or information coming in. Clarify the Knight. Thank you. And we have Justice. Ow, I love it. Could be something legal, some type of documentation. A Libra definitely could be involved. That is Libra energy. Maybe uh, going to advise you or tell you something. Um, hmm. Can we get a little bit on the message? And we have temperance to help you heal and balance yourself. Sagittarian energy here. Tell me about where this came from. Seven of fire. Seeking. Three of pentacles. Maybe work related. Uh, advice. Same energy. Seeking answers and advice. Three of pentacles could also be searching for answers and advice through co-workers, through friends, through um, counseling. Um comparing uh, different opinions, kind of like taking bits and pieces of what you need from different places, if that makes sense. Tell me more, past energy please for Cancer, the Hermit and the Nine of Chalices. Yeah, you got what you wanted. Whatever you were seeking, whatever knowledge or confirmation, you got it with that Nine of Cups energy, Nine of Chalices. And you took it within and turned it into wisdom with this Hermit Virgo energy here. That wisdom uh, basically uh, sparked your... Um, need to move forward. And that's what you're doing. And you're doing so, um, as I said, wholeheartedly. You just have a willingness to go. You want to try it. That's, that's the info. That's the, like the energy I have to try, you know, if it don't work fine, but I have to try. You understand page of uh, cups, page of water, the devil and seven of wands. I feel like this is, see that Cap, if you have Capricorn in your chart, leave it there. Okay. If you don't, this feels like somebody like playing with your feelings. I'm not going to lie. Or trying to. Tell me more. Seven of Wands. Capricorn energy, King of Pentacles. Again. Almost as if you have an earth sign of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, heavy on the Capricorn, that's saying to you, Cancer, that's not going to work. I don't think that's a good idea. That's not the right thing for you. You should try something else. That don't make sense. I wouldn't do that if I was you. You understand what I'm saying? That's how this feels. That's truly how this feels. And basically planting seeds of doubt or anxiety, but you've always been very strong-willed and strong-headed. Like, you do what you want, when you want, how you want, and that's why you want what you want when you want it. We talk about that all the time when I'm doing your readings. You guys want what you want. Um, consequences be damned. You know what I'm saying? But in this instance, it seems like somebody is really pushing your buttons and making you second guess, and you shouldn't do that. OK, um, because your heart's desire, you've done your research and you've reached a point where you're like, I'm going to try it. Like, why not? And I agree. Why not? You know what I'm saying? YOLO. Why is death and rebirth undermining the energy? Strength, Leo energy. It's hard. It's hard to let go. I agree. But that don't mean you can't do it. That just makes it. You have to work at it. And the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Standing strong on your decision. Don't, you know, it's like you, like I said, I think you've made your decision. I think you've done your homework. I think you have a Debbie Downer or a naysayer. Earth sign, possibly fire. That is discouraging and making you second guess whether or not you're doing the right thing because you know whatever it is that you're choosing to do in your life is going to be um 
work required to uh, achieve it. And you're questioning whether or not you really want to do the work, not if you can. You understand what I'm saying? It's do I really want to? But I think that in the end, this works out in your favor with this king of earth because it brings you the secure home um, and abundance and all the wonderful things that comes with the king of earth, king of pentacle energy. Um, and a, a, with seeing the truth with this queen of air at the bottom of the deck, you know, abundance right under that. Look at that. Come on. Talk about the king of earth, please. Future energy for cancer. Thank you so much. And there's the star wish fulfillment. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Aquarian energy, a lovely healing, emotionally balanced, wish fulfilling, hoping, dreaming energy. I love that. Tell me more. Cancers, you just you guys are gonna be blessed. Just I would not give up. Nine of Wands here. Yeah, you know, you've been through the worst of times. So yeah, you might be a little weary from the battle, but you're still standing. You're still willing. You know, you're still uh, standing on the ready and you you're standing uh, for a reason because you know that it's worth it. You in, in your heart of hearts, you know, it's worth it. Let me get one more on the future energy. King of Swords, Seven of Swords. You are going to really cut out with this queen here. Any liar, deceiver, cheater misleader all the all the eaters okay cutting them out all the eaters <laughs> sayonara bye all right and the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck again Woo! show me what you're working with you know I, it's double energy on this queen i have to say that she cuts through to the truth just like the king but the king cuts you out the queen will cut you, but she'll teach you at the same time. So I think you're going to show and prove all your naysayers, all of your haters, all of your procrastinators and any other haters or along with the eaters who you are. And that sounds good to me. All right. Stay strong. Stay true. Know that God has your back. The boulder has been removed off of your shoulders. The weight is lifted. You're free to fight. You understand me? You're no longer bound. So go fulfill your wishes. Receive your abundance. Push through. Push through the hard days because better days are coming and you know it. You smell it. Just It smells like a beautiful bouquet of roses. It, it, you know you smell it, all right? And if anyone is saying you can't, you can ready to show them better than you could tell them. And then you're going to tell them anyway. I ain't going to lie. We're going to keep it decent. <laughs> <laughs> Cancers, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for being with me for your reading here. I enjoyed it and I hope it helped, okay? Uh, any event that none of this information resonated for you, that's okay. Check your moon and rising signs and give me a thumbs up for effort because I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, leave the energy here. Don't take it with you, okay? Leave it for someone else. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.